This is Sean Allen Cuts. Enigma. I'm back again with another video. Today I'm gonna talk to you about how to do a different type of fade. Now I'm gonna fade from bald all the way up to all his hair. He got a lot of hair. But I decided to do it differently. So I'm gonna show you. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my Babyliss Pros and then I'm balding it out pretty much. Cause I got my Babyliss Pros real close. I had adjusted. So now, as you can see, I'm going to fade with the comb. It's called clipper over comb technique. And what this does is this helps you in a different way to fade. So right now, as you can see, I'm starting to part his hair. And I'm clipping it where I parted it at so I can see exactly what I need to cut because you don't want to cut all the high areas of the hair. So where it's section off at, that's where you need to cut. So as you can see, the part that I separated I comb down so I can know exactly how much hair I have to work with. So clip over comb technique again. But this time I'm really angling it and I'm starting to fade it out. Now once I got it to the certain length and angle that I need it to be, then I start cutting it. So what I do is I'm taking my magic clips with a zero guard and I'm pretty much just angling it. As you can see my finger, I'm cutting it at an angle. So you use your wrist, I'm flicking it out. I'm not digging into that part that I use a clipper over comb technique with. So now I'm taking my masters with a one and a half. Now side note, you can use any clipper that you want to use. Matter of fact, you can use one clipper with a whole bunch of guards and then do the same thing. But I like to just do what I'm used to. I take my five star seniors with a one. And I went right under that one and a half. And as you can see, the fade is starting to form. So every time you see the camera move back, it's me kind of looking at it, making sure that I can see everything that I need to take out. Side note, when you set your fade up, you need to take all the dark spots out. So now I'm using no guard with my masters and I'm just doing the blending technique. I'm just flicking out all the dark spots. As you can see, whatever dark spots you see there, I'm just flicking it out. And as you can see, I'm opening the lever and I'm closing the lever. When I wanna get closer, I close the lever. When I wanna push farther back, I open the lever of the clippers. So I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, I'm cleaning everything up with the first demarcation line. As you can see, it's starting to disappear. So now I'm taking my masters again and I'm just freehanding that area that I want the bald part of the fade to blend into the heavy part of the fade. Now in this front section, when I'm fading differently, I'm using the O guard to cut down at that area because I'm setting my line up. So when I'm cutting that down, I already know like, okay, I gotta cut this down in order for my lineup to look real nice. Now you see me line up, it's lineup time. And as you can see, when I set everything before, then it's easy for me to line up. And the reason why you see hardly no hair there, cause I got the clip pushing all the hair back. So as you can see, I'm just taking my time, just making sure I get all the parts that I need. And then I seen a little bit more dark spots at the bottom, um, still cleaning up that first demarcation line. Sometimes you need to use your liners and just flip it the opposite way and then kind of just flick it. 
just flick it with one of the sides of the clippers. Preferably like T outliners or T blades. You can clean up fades, like knock out the demarcation line easier. So now it's time for the C effect, but I'm just starting the C effect this time. I'm just setting the tone. And then I'm gonna go back and hit it and it's gonna be extra crispy. But I'm just, just taking you through the process of every little step that I do. So you slowly start seeing it. Now it's time for me to take my clips out. Now what I want you to understand is I parted the hair and I moved all that hair out the way. And now look at it. So once I pick it out, it's gonna form right into his hair and it's gonna look like a fade. I just wanted to show y'all that it's different options that you can use when you're cutting hair. You can fade differently. It's all type of ways that you can fade. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the hair that I already faded and I'm forming it into all his wild hair. So it can just blend right. So as you can see, you start to slowly see that that fade is coming in right, coming in tight. I'm angling it. I'm just going from ball all the way up to all the wild hairs. So you can see it. I'm showing you right there. I'm taking it from the ball area all the way up. Now look at that. Now so he had a little spots in his hair. So I'm going to add a little fiber. I'm going to add a little spray to it. A little holding spray. A little blow dry action. And I'm pulling out the old school T outliners, those just the cord ones. I'm definitely gonna get the, the cordless ones very soon. But as you can see, that lineup starting to pop, pop, pop. And you see, I'm using a T outliner like a pencil. When I do my C effects, I use it like a pencil. That's all I say, use it like a pencil. You see how I'm just drawing it in rather than cutting it in because hair cutting is art man it really is you just need to take your time especially if you're a beginner take your time and really master the craft so i'm looking back i'm just saying okay i see that little piece right there because i want his hair to be crispy so you starting to see that fade blend and i see that little little line right there little line over there that's what I'm doing. I'm blending it a little bit more. I want that fade to be right. So now I step back. Now look at that fade. Fade right. That fade is right. Now what I'm going to do next after this is I'm going to cut the top of his hair. And I want that top to be even with the fade that I just did. So I'm taking my masters. Side note, Masters is good for afros and just really free hand cutting. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy the Masters. For years, I never used the Masters, but I picked them back up and I was like, you know what? See, look at that. That fade is right and haircut tight. Now what I did was he wanted me to sponge it. So I sponged his hair so it can give a little texture. I could have left it perfect, but you know, these kids want their hair with that little sponge twist effect. So I had sponged it out and blended that fade right on in. So once again, it's many different ways that you can fade. Haircut right, haircut tight. Make sure y'all subscribe. Help me reach my goals. And I appreciate y'all. This is Sean Allen. I'm out. Peace.